Today what I want to talk about a little bit is doing some holes in metal and drilling holes in metal and specifically a little bit larger for uh, electrical conduit, uh, EMT and rigid, PVC. All these different things have uh, different purposes and you know some of them you can use all the way around for everything. But uh, let's just start off with a couple of these and I've got my hole saws in the back. This is my unibit set. I've got four unibits in here. This is my knockout punch set and it's just a, a hand style with a ratchet on it and then in here I've got the uh, uh, the ideal uh, drill kit and all of these the standard uh, hole saws everything like I said has its own purpose you have different size arbors over here for um, the different various assorted hole saws. Some of them have uh, Allen wrenches in them for the set screw. Some of them just have screws. And then here's a less expensive brand. Don't even know where I came up with this one. But it's got a screw in it and I'll have to put a bit in it to use it. One of the things that I like to do with all of these, you'll notice the rags hanging out of them, is uh, when I clean them up, I like to be able to just take some uh, WD-40, spray them in there, and then kind of take the rag and wipe all the tools off. Um, mainly it's just to keep it from the humidity rust and, you know, stuff happens with water and they will get rusted. So I'll take like my knockout set here. It's been around the block. I've had it a long time though and if you take care of it you should too. You have the ratchet and then you have your bolt and this particular size right here is a one inch. You have your cup. Your cup goes over the edge Then you have your cutter and you'll take that and put that through a hole half inch hole in this case. You thread it on until it's tight and I'm going to show you all this but uh, you thread it on until it's tight and then you take your ratchet and you crank it on down and it'll actually pull the bolt through with the cutters and it will take out your metal. Like I said this particular one's a one inch. This is a half through a two inch kit which I find uh, most common once you get up above two inch, let's say two and a half uh, and above, you're going to want to start using a hydraulic perhaps because uh, two and a half is pretty, pretty tough to cut. This is the half inch. A circumstance like this, you may take this. You can use a unibit or a uh, three-eighths bit. Drill it for this bolt. Slide it through your hole. Put your cutter on there, pull it up through, cut your hole. Now you have a half inch hole. And you can take this bolt and do your one inch up to two inch. Now one of the things you may notice is that I put all my cutters in upside down in here. And it's just something I've done over the years because I'm sure driving around and bumping around and everything else over a period of time, these things are going to get doled up. So that's just a little bit of precautionary. Depending on how often I use these determines on how often I spray them down with, uh, with some sort of anti-rust or lubricant or whatever. But this is one way. That's the, this is a Greenlee knockout slug buster kit. And then I have my Lennox hole saws, which are, I'm sorry, uh, Unibits, which um, these are really nice because they're double cut bits. And they're also pretty pricey. I don't like to loan them out. I've bought tons and tons and tons of them over the years. This particular kit was provided to me by, uh, by Lennox, and I want to thank them for sending them my way so I can use them. And I've been using these for 
oh, six or eight months now. And uh, I've drilled everything from uh, steel to panels, um, even drill holes in some bell boxes. And I thought the, the cast in the bell boxes actually dulled these, but um, talking with Lennox, they're saying that uh, it's not necessarily so. So I've been using them and trying them out, and so far I really, really like these. Uh, not to say that any of the other brands aren't just as efficient, but these so far have been the most durable for me. And we'll take a look at my ideal kit. And these are really, really sweet. They say they cut through stainless steel. I haven't done it yet. I haven't had any uh, reason to go to stainless steel. But uh, one of the really nice things about this, what I like, well, a couple of them, is, I'm not sure if you can see that there. I'll try and get a close-up of it. But these bits are tapered. So when you drill through, you don't slam your, um, your saw, your whole saw, into the metal. And what happens when you do, and this one I just happened to, what I did was I drilled it in at an angle, and the side of the tip caught, and it actually just busted off one of those bits. So it's got the tapered bit on it, so when it drills through, it'll go through. You can slow it down a little bit, and then it gets into the quarter inch. You'll notice it's got a spring in it. And what happens when you get drilled all the way through, it'll actually push your, your cut hole. It'll push it out of the way. And it's got these carbide, tip bit, carbide tips on it. And I haven't drilled any cast with these, just mostly uh, panels and stuff. And then it's got this ridge on it. And the ridge will keep you from pushing your hole saw all the way through. So like in a unibit, you notice the unibits were longer. So when you're drilling through, you know, you got a possibility of hitting something on the other side, or if you got really short area that you got to drill into, then these work perfect. These are really, really nice. They've got the Allen set on there. And um, like I said, it's got the spring and the taper bit. So this is a really nice set. These were provided to me by Ideal. Thank you very much. I've had these for, oh, same thing, about six or eight months. And these things rock. These things are awesome. And this is, this is my favorite preferred way of uh, drilling a hole if I've got them handy. Um, the unibits that I have, um, I like these because I could actually carry these in my pouch. And I could carry this in the pouch, but as far as the, uh, the individual half through one inch or whatever, but um, they tend to get lost and they kind of find their way into other people's pockets somehow. So there's just a brief rundown on the different types of hole saws and stuff to make holes in metal. And I'm going to go ahead and go over to my, um, my project, which is my electrical control panel. And I'll drill some holes uh, with each one of these and show you exactly the process. And hopefully that'll help you out. See this sitting over in the corner. This is a lesser kit. It comes in here. And uh, I don't even know where it came from, but I just use this one around my shop. But uh, this particular one, if you want to use a uh, larger hole saw, you notice this doesn't thread in there. So you have to take this adapter, put it on there. Um, I don't necessarily recommend this for electricians, but uh, if, if all you can afford is an inexpensive kit like this, then that'll get you going. But it's nice to have a hole saw kit nonetheless. Of course, don't forget, you have to have a decent half inch chuck drill and uh, something that's got a lot of power to it. And if you're using any of the larger hole saws or um, continuous drilling with your unibits or any bit, you want to make sure you've got a good drill. And 
Um, Ryobi for me is fine for the amount of uh, drilling that I do. Um, you might want to look at something else if you just do hundreds of holes, perhaps even go into an electric drill. But let's take a look at some of these in action and um, I'll show you what uh, uh, each one of them will do.